The US government has set new standards for ob obtaining permanent residency and US citizenship. This is part of the Trump administration's efforts to reduce legal Im immigration. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Kim Dami. Uh, so Dami, tell us more. Mark, the Trump administration unveiled a new rule on a Monday that could deny visas or permanent residency to hundreds of thousands of people for being too poor. This means the new policy would reject applicants for temporary or permanent visas who fail to meet income standards or receive public assistance, including food stamps, welfare and public housing. Coming into force on October 15th, the change aims to ensure that immigrants are self-sufficient, according to the administration. Through the public charge rule, President Trump's administration is reinforcing the ideals of self-sufficiency and personal responsibility, ensuring that immigrants are able to support themselves and become successful here in America. The change seeks to redefine what it means to be a public charge and who's likely to be one under U.S. immigration law. So from now on, wealth, education, age, and English language skills will take on greater importance in the process of obtaining a green card. Showing higher levels of income is much more necessary for applicants to get a visa. According to the Migration Policy Institute, more than half of all family-based green card applicants will be denied under the new rules.